what's up babes and welcome back to my channel as y'all can tell in the title we are going to be getting into five micro habits that we are using to shift our mindset if you've been following along i've been on a glow up journey this summer and we have all actually been on a glow up journey okay and these tips are something that we're going to implement into our situation in order to become our better selves within the next three months if you are new to my channel i hope that you find this video to be informative i hope that we can connect in a way where you feel comfortable and you want to be a part of this community don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I hope that you share this video with your friends and you guys are all in a glow up journey and want to use these tips in order to become your better selves. Alright, so like I said earlier in the video, if you have been here and you've been on this journey with me, you know that we have had tips on how we can exit our lazy girl era. We have tips on how we can glow up this summer. Now we're going to do micro habits that change our mindset. It changes our outlook on the day. It changes our paradigm, okay? I'm going to present these in order of how I do them on a daily basis. And these tips have actually changed my mindset throughout the last three weeks and shown I've actually shown a bit of self-improvement by doing these tips, okay? So I hope that you guys implement them into your journeys okay so we are gonna get started and the first one is gonna be meditation and prayer okay i don't really meditate so much but i am somebody that uses prayer with anything that's with talking to god and telling him how my day is going in my car or i'm praying for my family myself my relationships my boyfriend like anything or simple in the mornings every single day and i've said this in one of my other videos you're thanking god for waking you up i think these are so important i think this one in particular is so important because it keeps you grounded in your foundation in your faith and you might not believe in god and that's okay you're gonna believe in what you want to believe in so i think if you meditate take that time no matter how long it is just set aside time to meditate. The next one is going to be writing down your affirmations. And that can be written down anywhere. You can actually just say it out loud to yourself. I like to write them down in my journal as I am journaling. As you guys know, I've been on a journaling journey. And this is something that I implement every single time that I open my journal. Regardless of if it's in the morning or if it's in the afternoon. I write down those affirmations that I completed for that day or something that I want to work on for the next day. I also like to write down things on my mirror just so I can see them every single time that I look into my mirror. I have so many things on this mirror that I look at and it's stuff that I believe in, okay? Like, for example, I have a quote on here and it says, dream it, see it, obtain it. If you dream something, you can see it in your new future, you're gonna obtain it. And that is something that I live by, especially with like how optimistic I am. I live by that quote. So seeing things and like saying it out loud is something that really like resonates with me and it will help you. And our third tip on these micro habits, this is actually the hardest one, but it makes you so disciplined and that is getting up earlier. Right now is summertime, so I'm not really having to get up super duper early. Now when, you know, the fall rolls around and I have work, I'm going to be getting up early. But right now, I have been waking up at 6 or 6 30. I'm actually gonna put out a video of me waking up at 6 a.m. It might be out already before y'all whenever you guys see this video but I woke up at 6 a.m. for a week and that was actually so hard for me because nor like I've been waking up at 6 30. Well then I tried to do 6 a.m. and you'll see in the video how hard it was okay. I put that on this list to say 
You get more things done out of your day by waking up sooner. I'm not just talking about like working out. I'm talking about like you're able to write in your journal. You're able to get a workout in if that's what you do. You're able to cook yourself breakfast in the morning. You're not rushing to go to work. Really, you're not rushing to do anything in the morning. If you go to work at 9, 6.30 is a very good time for you to be getting up in the mornings just to get simple tasks done around the house. This one resonates with me so much simply just because like... This is the type of energy that I am wanting to put out. So in order for me to stay disciplined and within myself, I am genuinely trying to get up earlier each day and each week. Our next one is going to be super quick. And this is something that has helped me on this journey as well. I have been listening to self-worth and self-confidence podcast. And literally, it is just a bunch of women talking in my ears or in my car at home about how much they believe in themselves in their job in any relationship that they're in how much they value their peace and protect their peace or how they see different relationships going or like anything i feel like implementing the podcast into your self-growth journey will help you out so much you guys we hear a lot of negative we put up we hear a lot of negatives in the world right now okay that's within music politics reality tv whatever listening to things that are positive actually uplifts you so much and i preach this in every single video that i put out i've kind of said the same thing about podcasts it's very consistent and that's because this one i wholeheartedly believe in so much you implementing this into your daily life will change your mindset about yourself it will change your mindset about work it'll change your mindset about the type of work ethic that you want to put out the type of positive vibes that you want to put out into the world so i recommend doing this so much like if you don't do nothing else listen to the podcast first and then maybe you'll get motivation from that to bring yourself onto a self-growth journey and then the last one is gonna be super simple and that is just writing down our monthly goals okay short-term goals is what i want us to focus on right now stuff that we can um obtain in a in a month we're almost into august and i'm gonna sit down july 31st and write down the goals that I want for myself for the month of August. This actually helped my July be super duper organized and I've put myself on a calendar on a to-do list and I've tried to get stuff done that I normally would just put off. But since we're on a self-growth journey, I'm getting done and not procrastinating. That is creating discipline for me because I'm somebody that procrastinates. So if I write down monthly goals, I genuinely try to get them achieved. And if I don't, then I just repeat that same goal that I missed the next month and try to do it. I give myself grace a lot, okay, with everything that I do. So don't think of this as like a chore that you have to do or the goals are like things that you have to get done. Like it might take you three months to grow 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Like it might take you a year to do that. So do not beat yourself up because you don't have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. But still keep that same goal and work towards that. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Those are five micro habits that I use daily in order to change my mindset. These micro habits have actually changed my mindset literally within a few days. And that is something that I honestly did not think could happen. It has helped me grow and think about things differently. Rather than complaining about getting up at 6 a.m., I'm choosing to get up at 6 a.m. I'm changing my mindset. Think about that as you're watching this video, as you're doing something that you don't want to do. You're choosing to do that so you can become better. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's have some conversations in the comments, guys, okay? I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.